Hi everyone, today I'm kind of indulging myself a little, but hopefully for the sake of creating information for some other people, but NARS reformulated their blushes and I started out by buying three and then uh, this happened. I have nothing, I don't, I can't defend myself at all. Except that perhaps I can defend myself by saying that in their old formula, I have like 30. So proportionally, like we're good to go, I guess. Anyway, one of the reasons that I got so many is because the shades of the blushes are just really interesting in pan. They don't look like much, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. The new formula is talc free. So the old formula had talc, the new one does not have talc. They reformulated their bronzer to be talc free last year maybe, about. The blush formula, the new blush formula is a little drier than the bronzer formula, but they are not dry. They are just drier in comparison, if that helps anybody. And so what I kind of mean by them not being a lot in pan, this one's a lot. This one's a cool shade. But this is Orgasm Edge, which is meant to be orgasm, but without any shimmer. This is Forbidden. So, right? They're just, when you see them all in a display, they don't look all that eye-catching. However, I think they apply really beautifully. Super into them. Uh, Ulta and Sephora have different shades available. I believe between the two of them you can get all shades and I think Nordstrom has all shades available too so I think department stores aren't getting like cut out from exclusives. This is a whole different shade from the ones that I just showed you. This is a more Orgasm Edge. Don't drop them, don't drop them. Forbidden. Right, if you saw those all lined up in a display would you be impressed? No. So we're gonna do cheek swatches. A lot of their shades from their old formulas did not get translated over into this new formula. My guess is that has something to do with like pigment availability. However, they did bring over some of their more popular shades. So of course we still have Orgasm, which I did not get, but Orgasm X is actually, I think for me, a better color than Orgasm. And so that one is in both formulas. I should also say, as someone who's been following the NARS brand for a very, very long time, when I say their old formula, about three years ago, NARS redid their blush range. They, I believe, expanded it at that point, and that was when Orgasm X was introduced as a color in their permanent line. I have Orgasm X and I have Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal I have is one of my very, very first NARS blushes ever, so it's in that it's in, it's old. The packaging is sticky because NARS soft matte packaging will get sticky over time. Presumably if you touch it with like makeup hands, which if you're doing makeup, you have makeup hands. So anyway, so my Taj Mahal is quite old, which is also one of the reasons why I was like, I'm going to get the new one because it's old. I probably need a new one anyway, but I wanted to compare that shade and the Orgasm X shade just to see how the formulas sort of changed compared to the last iteration of the formulas. I wish I had gotten a matte to compare, but I didn't. I didn't really think about that. And now I'm so deep into this, it seemed ridiculous to get one more shade. So I didn't. Um, I don't want to call it impulse control, but it just had to stop at some point. I do, however, this is so stupid. The shade Torrid is one of my favorite colors, and they did release that one new. And I believe that one's... A little different. Um, I want that. And then they also released a pink shade called Dominate that I swatched yesterday when I was wandering through Sephora and it's gorgeous. I, I, so I should have got that one but I should also get one that's uh, same to same formula compare right and I didn't. I'm gonna do arm swatches because I want you to see how unimpressive those are and then we'll do cheek swatches because I think that's far more informative um, and also just going to kind of show you what I mean by like they're, I really like them, but you can't necessarily judge them by what they look like. You kind of have to just go for it. So 
I have a little bit of concealer on and then I just powdered so that they would blend well. I used my Natasha Denona powder foundation to powder, but just lightly. Like you can see, I didn't go all in to try to get, because I know that we're going to have to wipe off and stuff like that. I'm probably just going to do one cheek and one cheek in different colors because that's expedient. And I do have some colors that are um, kind of comparable. So I think that will also help in that regard. So let's start with swatching. Yeah, ready, set, go. Okay. First shade for arm swatch is Forbidden. Forbidden is described as a matte beige coral. Then we have Amore. Amore is described as a matte warm pink. And so just as a reminder of what those look like in the pan, matte warm pink, matte beige coral, matte warm pink, matte beige coral. So it's, it's just really interesting, but now we're gonna swatch Amore. So there is a, a difference. They look like different blushes once they're swatched. All right, and now we're gonna do, so this is Orgasm Edge, which is a matte peachy pink. So again, this is like orgasm, but matte. It's kind of the theory there. And they're just a really velvety kind of soft touch. So matte peachy pink, again, different. This is Obsession which is, I believe, described, yeah, matte papaya coral. And then we're going to do in fact, nope, I'm going to do teased next. And this is a matte fuchsia. Okay. So definitely distinct from all the others. Then we have infatuated which is a matte deep plumberry plumberry is one word on the website so matte deep plumberry now we're going into the new shimmers and first we have foreplay and this one is a shimmering red brown Then I got Orgasm Rush. Orgasm Rush is a deep rose bronze with shimmer. And you definitely can see there's more rosiness. Then we have Orgasm X, which is a shimmering deep coral with gold pearls. So the way the description, this uh, Orgasm is a peachy pink with golden shimmer. This one is deep coral with gold pearl. And the shimmer blushes feel really smooth to the touch. And then lastly, we have Taj Mahal, burnished orange with golden shimmer. I love Taj Mahal. So there's my NARS blush collection of this new formula. And now real quick, I'm gonna show you Actually, I'll do these on the back of my hand. Here is New Orgasm X, Old Orgasm X. So even in the pan, you can tell that there's gonna be a difference in these two shades. So I'll do the new shade first, and I'm gonna just kind of rub it in a little. And then I'm gonna grab the old shade. So, they are different. This one has more red in it, maybe. Kind of more of a watermelon shade. But I think the like degree of shimmer is not really different. And then we'll do Taj Mahal. So new. And this one, again, in the pan, they look quite different. So This is the new Taj Mahal. I will say, though, my old blushes still feel really good. And that's old Taj Mahal. So I think this is a little bit deeper. Again, maybe slightly more red. It's like this one is just like lighter and more yellow. But time for cheek swatches. <laughs> oh boy. So I think with um, when I get to Orgasm X and Taj Mahal, I'm going to do a side by side of old and new. So you can see that. For the rest of them, I actually did check to see if there were any 
similar shades from the old line and not really is the answer which is interesting and then there's also a bunch of shades not a bunch that's probably unfair see like i think exhibit a which is a very like cult classic nars color it's that bright red shade they did come out with exhibit a again i think this would have been a really good matte to compare because this is such a distinct blush color so savage from the last iteration is can i do this so this is uh, Foreplay and Orgasm Rush, and this is Savage. So it's fairly close to Foreplay, but it's kind of honestly in the middle. It's like a little rosier than Foreplay, but definitely deeper than Orgasm Rush. So, but not called the same, which is, I think, interesting. I don't know. Uh, Gina, ooh, Gina is another shade that they did bring back in the mattes, and I like this shade a lot, so I would, they call this a matte tangerine. Curious. So don't worry, I want several more of these NARS blushes. And then Aroused was the closest thing that I had to the fuchsia one. What's the fuchsia one called? Teased. but definitely more kind of in between here. The plum berry and the fuchsia, so not, not quite as vibrant. In the last version of the blushes, we had a lot of things like this, like very shimmery, beigey kinds of colors, and we didn't really get those. So I'm wondering if they're gonna continue expanding this line, because like I said, this is fewer blushes than they had before, and it's still so many blushes. Also, I got all of my blushes on sale. I used Ulta Points and a Ulta 20% off when they first launched, and then also got the rest at Nordstrom when they were 15% off. Remember to look for sales. Makeup doesn't need to be bought at retail. It's a fake price. Okay, so I guess we just gotta go for it. So, forbidden. And see, they're fairly sheer, which to me in this context is a good thing because it means that they build up really gently, but they do build up. And then because they're so sheer, the blend out is kind of effortless. Like there aren't really any harsh lines that you can see I'm not really buffing it in or anything. So I think they're quite beautiful. And this is a light shade. This is right. This is one of the shades that I was like, I don't even know if that's going to show up on me because of how light it looks. And then on camera, it looks deeper than it does like when I'm looking at it, but it's a fairly light shade. So I'll do one more stampy layer just so you can really see that color payoff. And again, this is forbidden. And I'm not applying these blushes as an expert blush application right now. I'm just applying them for color context. So don't make fun of me, please. Okay, on this cheek, we're gonna do Orgasm Edge. And I am gonna be using the same brush, but I am wiping it off between. So, Orgasm Edge. And you can see this one's a little, this one's a, definitely a little bit more pinky than this one. But that's such a pretty color. Forbidden Orgasm Edge. And now I'm gonna take these off, repowder with the Natasha Denona powder, and then do two more shades. Next shades, we are gonna do more. Quite light. That's a funny little patch happening. But here's a more. So again, it's another very light shade but you can see 
that it's willing to build up. Right? I think it's a good color. And I'm building up for that like full transparency of color, not for blush scale. I know that looks like trash. Next we'll do Obsession, the matte papaya coral. Ooh, even on the brush, it's just so much brighter. But do you see what I mean? Like this is one of the brighter matte shades that they have in this new version. And it still just doesn't go on immediately to be too much and too scary. But it does build, look at it build. Ooh. So you can get quite a lot of intensity out of them. But you just don't have to get there right away, which I really like. Okay, next shade is going to be Infatuated. Look at that weird, weird line. Okay. You can see it's going on compared to the knot side, but it's just kind of gentle. And I am using, like, this brush is just fluffy enough that it also isn't concentrating pigment. So if I used something a little bit more dense, and this is dirty, obviously, so I'm wiping it off, but it's still going to look like that. Anyway, so this is going to concentrate color more and it does build up a little bit differently but I think that fluffier brush really kind of makes it easier to show you what I'm talking about with how they go on but not too much right away see I just think that's so pretty I just I really like them okay so next is going to be teased which is the fuchsia color and this one I actually haven't worn on my cheeks yet, so I'm a little scared. Ah, see? I just, I kind of like that they go on like that, but then build to what you would want to expect from them. Cause look at how easily that's building up to be super intense like you would want it to be, but that sheerness just means that you have control about getting it there. That's such a cool color. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited. Look at it. Look at it. I love it. Let's do the shade foreplay. This is the brown. See, you saw how intense that looked in the pan. And then it can be worn as lightly as this, which is, I think, kind of incredible. And again, I'm just building up so you can see the intensity. There is quite a bit of shimmer in it. I'm gonna sweep. And that builds it up a little bit faster. Lots of sheen. Next one is gonna be Orgasm Rush. Orgasm Rush did feature in one of their face palettes in a different, in their like baked gelée formula. So I'm not comparing that because across formulas, usually the shades are different. So again, this is Orgasm Rush, which is meant to be sort of a rosier bronze. And we're just building that up. And then I'm gonna go in a little heavier in just a second. So again, it's almost like you can't necessarily, but like when I turn to the side, you're like, oh yeah, I do see it. Right? Get a little more intensity. Mm. 
so you can see the difference. There's definitely more rosiness in this, but it still kind of has that bronzy tone and still quite a high sheen. I think this shade is more flattering on me than this shade, but I like them both. Gotta tell you, cheek swatches are rough because I know that the my, my cheek skin is not doing great, but kind of, I knew what I was gonna do today. So I didn't really do any skincare because I knew it would be worthless wiping it off. And that means that when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go in with something very kind to my skin. I'm trying to slick back ponytails. I'm just trying to like, you know, reduce my frizz. I don't think I look great in a slick back. Like, I don't look great in a frizzy ponytail, but I slick it back and I feel like I just look like an alien. How do people do it? I don't get it. So, all right, all right, all right, I'm so excited. I love Taj Mahal, I love Taj Mahal. It's such a beautiful color. And this was like the first really true orange that I ever knew about. I think it was one of the probably first out there that was really doing this. So again, this is the new one and quite a bit of sheen. And it's definitely building up gently. Just trying to get it a little bit heavier so you can see it for what it is but also I think because the color comparison will be easier so again lots of sheen very orange I love this color so much and now we will do old Taj Mahal if you can hear construction noises I am sorry it's it's crazy. It's, my window's even closed and I can still hear them. Okay. We might end up with less sheen in the original. It's also interesting because I think this brush is part of why these have been going on so well but it's definitely not the only piece of it. I love NARS blushes. If you really like a powder blush or if you don't know if you like a powder blush, these are the ones that I would try, honestly. They have been my go-tos since I was a wee beginner. I would also highly recommend MAC blushes, but I think they're about to do something with their blushes because MAC used to have like the most uh, as far as like range of blushes available and now they just don't so I'm kind of wondering if they're doing something like with their lipsticks but they have good formulas too I just think NARS is kind of so I do think I'm getting more pigment build up on the old one and more shimmer on this side I'm gonna go back in to the new formula this is an old MAC brush so it is natural fiber their new ones are synthetic it's a 116, but this is a pretty rough bristled brush, which rougher bristles tend to pick up powder products more. Better is sort of depending on the powder, I guess, but more. Still just not quite the same pigment. And I'm not saying it's bad. It's just that if you've loved Taj Mahal, you probably want to know how your experience could change. Because like I said, look at that bristle. Yeah, on this side, it's just looking, that sheen comes through so much more. And I think it's a little less flattering on the cheek than the old one, where there's definitely di still shimmer, but I, I think you can see that difference. I like the old Taj Mahal better. I don't know if I tried this for the first time, if I would be upset. 
it might be that my skin is just getting a little bit dry too. So it could be that this side would look better if my skin weren't at the end of a blush swatching session. But even still, this side looks good at the end of a blush swatching session. So take that, take that for whatever you need to take it for. I do think this one is a little bit more flattering on the cheek. I think you get more of that color coming through, whereas here I think that sheen just kind of is doing a lot. All right, folks, last one. Okay, so as a reminder, this is Orgasm X. Do the new one here. Like lots of sheen, look at that. But a very pretty color. Okay, let's do the old one. Which I can tell you right now is a more, more vibrant color. And again, like with Taj Mahal, I really think the pigment comes through a little bit better with the sheen being like an afterthought as opposed to the main event. This one is definitely like more flattering on the cheek than that one. So again, I don't think the shimmer formula and the new ones is bad, but I do think that that's potentially where the this sort of loss is, right? They're still good, but there's a noticeable difference. I want to see if this changes at all. Ow! With a setting spray. because sometimes setting sprays help powders sort of just sink in. So I wanted to see if that could happen and just improve that texture a little. We'll let this dry. And I only did it on that side because I just want to see if it compares more to this side, not necessarily what, what they both look like with setting spray. Drink my tea while we wait. I need to get a fan, like a, so I'm not using scrap paper or whatever book is within reach, you know? There's some things about my life that I'm like so on top of and then there are things like, mm, I need a fan, let me just use this notebook. <sighs> I think it's starting to look a little better, texture wise. So perhaps, perhaps. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video while this is drying and I hope this was helpful if you had any questions about the new NARS blush formula, if you're interested in some of the shades that I shared swatches of, if you're like hyper super interested in some of the other shades, I think I have half, half of them. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, if you're like dying to know, let me know because I can also go and venture out and get swatches without making purchases, that's possible, just to do comparison swatches or anything else like that. I do think the new formula is quite nice. I like that sheer buildable, especially because I think they build to look like they look in the pan. And I don't think they look super powdery as they build, which is also really important. If you have to layer a blush and it starts to look heavy and powdery and whatever, that's a bad time for layering and powder blush. But I really like that sheerness that allows them to be just blended out literally effortlessly. I will say I like the matte formulas better than the shimmer formulas. I think the setting spray does help. And I think if I didn't know this about their old shimmer formulas, this would still be exciting to me because I do kind of like the way that looks right now. It's just kind of like, well, these were these had a little bit more base pigment. The shimmer was more of an afterthought. These are, you probably don't need to put a highlight on top of them, right? 
and so I would still like to get more shades but I will wait for sales hopefully great ones later in the year Black Friday I just kind of I like my NARS blush collection it's one of my favorite parts of my makeup collection and so adding on to it because of this kind of seems like right on brand for me if you ever want to see a tour of my NARS blush collection just let me know I have so many like limited edition blushes I have I still have the Airdem blushes. I love, them. they're in the box because I just don't want them to get sticky. So I've saved the boxes because also, ugh, look at how cute she is, right? I just have a lot of NARS blushes. I take my collection very seriously. Overall, I really like them. I think if you see them in pan, definitely give them a swatch because you'll see a more truer color as soon as they touch the skin. And then on cheeks, I think is really obviously where they shine. Um, that's where you get to see like the, the full greatness, I guess. Again, if you want additional shade comparisons, I can make that adventure for you. I hope this helped. I hope you love blush. I hope that's why you're here because blush Armageddon is approaching and it's going to be a great time. So I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.